I found this on the Prompt Engineering Discord and have been using it a lot. It takes a simple input of what you want drawn in Stable Diffusion 1.5 and outputs a formatted description that will make better images. First, it gives us an example input, in this case a sunset, and it adds a description as well as recommended artists and styles that fit the sunset feel as an output. Let's compare both prompts and Stable Diffusion. Don't mind the superhero kangaroos from the last video. I'll be using no modifiers in the base Stable Diffusion model. Okay, just the sunset looks surprisingly good. It's hard to tell it's not a real image. Now, let's input our prompt. Whether it looks better is subjective, but it definitely did follow the watercolor of Van Gogh's style and still resembles a sunset. Chat GPT integration at the very least is a good way to quickly discover different art styles without having to look up a bunch of tutorials on how to use modifiers. Next, we will do what it seems like 90% of the user base exclusively uses Stable Diffusion for, generating anime women. For this, I have the Protogen model with some anime art style selected. Okay, it did a pretty good job. It drew two women, but that's because of the image size I have selected. Now let's try our prompt. This isn't exactly what we want, but to be fair, ChatGPT just had an input of women and still picked something accurate. What we can do is just delete the artist ChatGPT pits while still using the rest of the prompt it generated. Again, just getting this variety of results instantly is impressive. Now onto the real reason I needed this, creating a new channel banner. I put in space kangaroos for the old one, and they just look like regular kangaroos with stegosaurus tails as the asteroids come raining down. We need something better. Okay, I have my prompt. I do have about 20 modifiers, and I'm using a third model. I won't go into the specifics here. I do generate 100 images whenever I want a good result. It's been 4 hours, and we have our 100 images. These definitely look a lot better. The kangaroos are actually in space, and there's space stuff in space with the space kangaroos. Ultimately, I went with this image. YouTube TV users will have to deal with thinking about this monstrosity before bed every night. But other than that, I'm happy. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more prompts.